I'd like to take this time to formally introduce myself. My name is Patrick Chikanowski, and I am very excited and blessed to be the new director of worship at Holy Spirit Parish. You know, first things first, I know I look very young. I like to tell people I've reached a certain age where, you know, if you have to start telling people to add 10 to whatever you are thinking. The next questions I usually get are, you know, who variations on who are you and, you know, why are you here? So a little backstory and witness on me. I am a cradle Catholic, originally from Nantucket, Massachusetts. I was very fortunate to grow up in a really strong family of uh, professional musicians who also worked in uh, church ministry and teaching. And so from a very young age, I was immersed in all different kinds of music and was hanging around choir lofts, you know, in my bag of snacks and Cheerios. And it really was a huge blessing. We ended up moving to South Florida around Palm Beach when I was in middle school. Spent a few years in middle school and high school, you know, obviously got really involved with band and choir, and then I ended up doing my undergraduate degree in music education at Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida. So with my time with the Florida State Seminoles, I really was so enriched by the music culture there at their school of music, and also the Catholic uh, student community, and got really involved with their ministry, along with, you know, all of my teaching experience that I did through my program. After graduating with my undergraduate degree from FSU, I spent two years, uh, you know, working in ministry and different teaching jobs. And then I decided to, you know, continue my training and my studies at the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. They do, they call that little area in D.C. of Northeast Corner there, Little Rome, between you know, Catholic University campus and the, you know, Basilica National Shrine and the J.P. Two Shrine, all these things. There's so many Catholic things that they call it the Little Rome Corner, and it, is such a, it was such a blessing and such an enriching experience for me to grow in my faith and just, you know, grow a lot in my knowledge and tradition of the church and of music. I worked, you know, as a graduate assistant and also different ministry jobs, and, you know, I was really busy, uh, but by the end of you know, graduating in the fall of 2018 and then finishing my comprehensive exams. By the end of spring 2019, my time in D.C. kind of naturally reached an end, and I moved out to Dubuque. Last July, I followed my parents and my kid brother out here. And, you know, although I'm an East Coaster, I've quickly grown to, you know, really love and appreciate Dubuque very much. I love the beauty of the area. I, uh, you know, I'm hanging around Eagle Point Park or McDonald Park, you know, Riverfront all the time that I have for free. And uh, I also, as soon as I moved here, got, you know, planted myself in as many of the churches and the parishes of the community. So firsthand, I've seen just how vibrant and active the Catholic and Christian communities are of this town of Dubuque. And what a blessing that is. Most, um, the biggest part-time job that I've been working with the past few months is as a private music instructor at the Northeast Iowa School of Music, where I teach private voice lessons, piano lessons, and also trumpet and brass instruments, since that was my uh, first instrument. So that's it. That's a little bit on the uh, story of me. I do greatly look forward to meeting you all in person, not just digitally, as we're all doing these days. I am really excited and, you know, for the journey ahead, and I hope you all stay safe and well. God bless.